Hey, I'm Cry. Like some Victor content, some Midling content? Consider subscribing, maybe even hitting that like button. It'll help me up a lot. And if you do, you'll get blue buff. Victor Challenger. The only rule? I can only play Victor. Unless it's banned. Then we're playing Orianna. No Victor jungle, no Victor support, maybe Victor Bali. And that's about it. So, this kinda happened. But instead of reviewing those games, I'm going to talk about two things that you could do that will drastically improve your win rates. First thing I'm gonna talk about is tilt. Tilt, which is usually defined as an unstable state of being mentally or emotionally confused or frustrated that causes the player experiencing tilt to adopt a less optimal and consistent strategy that results in reckless and overaggressive gameplay. That's a mouthful, but in short, when you're mad, you play like doo-doo. Plus, I do think that being mad or frustrated does not necessarily make you do more reckless or overaggressive plays. In fact, sometimes being mad or over frustrated might even potentially lead you to perform better. However, like the famous quote says, anger is a potent spice, a little wakes you up, too much dulls your senses. So, what should you do? First, don't type like the monkey I was. Instead, take the L and go out to touch some grass. Trust me, you'll feel better. Secondly, focus on the long term. One loss or one win will not define your climb. It is about being consistently good and open to learning that defines your climb. DL happened, so just move on and be better. Thirdly, focus on the current and upcoming games. There's simply no use in giving in to your emotions in a mentally intensive game where all your focus is needed. I get it. You're angry, you're frustrated, you're tired, but unless you want to work at Walmart instead of being in the LCS, tilting is not going to help you achieve that. The second thing is focusing on yourself. Here's the thing. Flaming or typing to someone about a play that already happened is not going to help them and is especially not going to help you get better. There is only so much you can do and your teammates are completely out of your control. Do not shoot yourself in the foot by making bad choices or quote caused by your teammates. If you died trying to follow a play made by your O10 teammate, that's on you and solely you. Instead, focus on what you could be doing and later what you could have done. Being open to learning is how we naturally become better at anything and this includes solo queue. Remember, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. You can be O10 one game, that's fine. But if you're O10 every game, I think Walmart has an open position on running down aisles. And those are the two tips that I hope help you in your climb. Let me know in the comments how you do with Tilt. Good luck and thank you. Remember, form is temporary, class is permanent.